On this episode of Ask Dan, we're going to talk a lot about Windows 10 and ARM. Specifically, should we expect a Snapdragon 845 at Computex next week with Windows 10? What about Surface Hub 2 and those animated live wallpapers? Is that really a thing? All that and more. Stay tuned. Will we see Snapdragon 845-based Windows devices at Computex? So if you're not aware, Computex happens the first week of June in Taipei. We'll be on the ground covering it. It's one of the largest PC events of the year, so we expect a lot of different OEMs to announce new product there. So will we see a Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 PC or anything running Windows 10 with that chipset? No, we don't expect to see that. Uh, I expect a 0% chance of that actually happening, so yeah. Is Microsoft committed to Windows on ARM for the long haul? So next week in Computex, uh, we're referencing that again, I expect some major news with Qualcomm and Microsoft. Now I know what you're saying, didn't you just contradict yourself and say there's no Snapdragon 845? And I stick to that, but yes, we expect some major news next week. Uh, Qualcomm and Microsoft are very much committed to Windows 10 on ARM, and I've been saying this for a very long time. This is not gonna be a short-term project. This is a long-term thing that they're doing, and we're gonna see a lot of evolution of these devices and components coming out over the next few years. We're gonna see different form factors. We're gonna see all sorts of different companies getting involved with this, and that is all 100% still accurate and true. Uh, so just pay attention to this site and channel over the next week or two and you'll get more information about it. The Surface Hub 2 showed a live animated lock screen. Does this mean Windows 10 will now support live wallpapers like Android? So a few weeks back, Microsoft teased the world with its Surface Hub 2 video. And in that video, we got to see the Surface Hub 2 hardware along with what the OS is going to look like, which is technically not finished yet. That OS is going to be Windows Core OS, a variant of Windows 10. Now, Microsoft won't sell it like that. They're just going to call it Windows 10 built for its Surface Hub. But yeah, you see in that video, if you look very closely, animated live wallpaper. Was that just a camera trick or an artistic decision? No, we actually do expect animated live wallpapers with Windows Core OS. Now we don't know if it's gonna to come to Windows 10 proper, that is your current desktop. I'm not sure about that, but yes, live wallpapers will be a part of Surface Hub 2, and we do expect it to with Andromeda, the handheld foldable device that's expected this fall. As a Windows desktop user who is very happy with his always-on LTE-equipped 12.9-inch iPad Pro, Sell me on the HP Envy X2. All right, so the short answer to this is go watch my video review of that device or read my written review of that device. Uh, I still have it. I'm still using it every day. In fact, I haven't charged this device since yesterday, even though I took many conference calls with it been using it at night on the couch, and I still have around 68% battery. So I'm a huge fan of this device. Having said that, I'm not necessarily telling everybody to go buy it right now. First of all, $1,000 is not cheap, so this isn't really a disposable device. But if you can afford it and you think you can make use of it, go get it. It's a fun device to use. Now, part of that decision is going to be based on what apps you use. Sure, you can install Win32 apps by locking this to Windows 10 Pro, but the best performance will be if you stick to Windows Store apps. And even there, once in a while, you'll get something like Slack. And if you don't know, Slack is built on Electron, and as everybody kind of knows, Electron is kind of garbage. I probably will get heat for that, but Slack doesn't run as well as you would expect it to, but other UWP apps are fine. If, however, you can wait a while, I would say try to hold out until holiday season 2018. We're gonna see a lot more devices on the market there that will have some better performance and some more improvements. So stick with Windows 10 and ARM, but you may wanna hold off a little while, unless you have a lot of money and you can buy this now and don't mind getting a new device in say six to nine months. If the Surface Hub 2 is indeed showcasing Seashell, can we expect such a responsive and adaptive UI in Andromeda? Related to the question about live animated wallpaper, what we saw in that video was not the real OS, right? It's a representation of what Seashell and Windows 10 is gonna look like later in 2018 when it comes out. So should we expect though that to happen in say Andromeda 2? And yes, that's kind of the point of Windows Core OS and Seashell in particular, and the Andromeda UI, which is what we expect with that handheld foldable device. This is gonna be something that's light and responsive. They're gutting some of Windows 10, not all of it, but some of the old legacy stuff I mentioned before, like the Fax app that we don't need anymore. A lot of stuff is gonna be jettisoned and it's gonna be more of a UWP-based operating system. 
But the goal of this is to have a UI that is much more adaptive and reflexive. In fact, I've seen some of the stuff for Andromeda and it looks a little bit like Windows 10 Mobile in some regards, but it has its own UI in others. For instance, the journal app, we expect to be one of the forefront apps that you use on this device. In fact, I think when you turn it on, that's what you'll see first is journal. So you have to think of this as sort of a different device. It won't be Windows 10 Mobile in name. I know a lot of people keep thinking this is like Surface Phone, but it's not gonna really look like Windows 10 Mobile when you turn it on, at least that's not what we're expecting. Still, you'll see a lot of familiar aspects with Windows 10, and yes, the OS should be very fast and responsive, but until we actually see it on real hardware, we have to reserve judgment. Okay, so that does it for this episode. Now, we'll be on hiatus for a week as we cover Computex, but that's okay. You can still use hashtag AskDanWindows on Twitter to ask me a question there, or send me an email at AskDan at WindowsCentral.com, and I'll try to get around to it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.